Welcome everybody, this is your boy Dryden Montero and we are here with another Grand Theft Auto V PC modding tutorials. Like always, if you liked this video, smash that like button and if you're new here, subscribe for more daily gaming content and we're going to get straight into the video. Welcome back everybody, this video is all about on how to install the basic important mods inside your Grand Theft Auto V for PC. So, like always guys, make sure you download all of these links. Go to your script hook V and download this one over here, over, over here too guys. Go to your script hook V.net and download your zip file. Go to your native UI library and download this file over here then go to your menu and download the zip file over here then go to simple trainer and download your simple trainer over here and then lastly download OpenIV the most important mod to download and now we're going to get straight into it but before we do get straight into it guys this video is requested by a few of you guys okay so this video is for the newbies who are just starting to mod on GTA V PC so this video is requested by you guys so all you guys gotta do okay is go to your Grand Theft Auto V game hover over it right click and open file location now as you guys can see that this folder is completely empty with no mods in it so there's absolutely no mods it is completely clean so what we're going to do before we do install mods is that we need to install OpenIV so once you guys have downloaded OpenIV then it will be installed somewhere but I have already installed it okay so it's over here so all you guys got to do okay is just double click and then just set up your settings uh, I'm English continue and then you can read the license if you want to but I'm going to skip it to I agree continue now you can set up your icons or whatever make sure you go to run open IV after the installation now once you guys have completed that just go to continue then now so blah 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 yes and now this installation will take a few minutes maybe five minutes or ten minutes it, it depends on your PC performance so I'm going to pause the video and I'll see you guys at the end and now we are back okay so the installation of OpenIV has been completed now all you guys got to do once you guys get to this stage is just close your application. Now this application will open up okay. All you guys got to do is go to your Grand Theft Auto V Windows. Now it says we felt the blah 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 but I'm not going to read that. You guys can read it if you want to. But all you guys got to do is go to browser. And then just go over here to Grand Theft Auto V or just find your game wherever you installed your game and then now and now all you guys gotta do is click once on a folder only once and then select folder and then now it has found your game now all you guys gotta do next is go to continue and then now you just need to wait for a while then go to continue and then just wait for a few seconds it will come up so once you guys come into this application, okay, the first thing you gotta do is go to tools. Then go to ASI manager and then install your ASI loader. Install openiv.asi. Select yes to create a mods folder. And then install your open camera. Close application and then close your 
open iv and that's all you guys got to do so now we have successfully installed open iv inside our folder now all you guys got to do next okay is go to your grand theft audio v game hover over it right click and open file location now as you guys can see we've got a mods folder in there so the first thing we are going to do is open up our Scriptbook V Extract folder. Go into your bin folder and then select input8.dll and Scriptbook V.dll. Drag them both inside your Grand Theft Auto V main folder. This application will pop up, just replace both files. Now open up your Scriptbook V.net extract folder and then now select scripthookv.net.asi.dll.pdb and .xml drag those four files inside your Grand Theft Auto V main folder and now the next thing we, thing we are going to do is that we are going to install our trainers open up your trainer V also known as simple trainer extract folder and select trainer v.asi and .ini drag both files inside your Grand Theft Auto V main folder now we are going to install our menu now all you guys got to do is select menu stuff folder and menu.asi drag both files inside your Grand Theft Auto V main folder now what we are going to do is go to your game folder, right click and refresh. Right click again and create a new folder and, that, and then name that folder scripts. Press enter once and press enter again. Now make sure that you guys install the latest native UI so open up your native UI extract folder and then select native UI.dll file and drag it inside your scripts folder. Now the next thing we are going to do is that we are going to create a mods folder. As you guys can see there is nothing inside my mods folder. So if you guys want to know how to put an update folder inside your mods folder and a time 64 and etc then all you guys got to do is go to your update folder over here copy the whole thing just copy it go back to your mods folder and then now uh, paste it inside your mods folder now this process will take about 10 minutes or 20 minutes okay it depends on your PC performance but what I'm going to do guys is that I'm going to pause the video and I will see you guys at the end okay so I'll see you guys soon and now we are back okay guys so as you guys can see that the uh, installation is now completed so once you guys are completed okay go back to your Grand Theft Auto V and then now go to your mods folder go to update go to time 64 then go inside your DRC packs. You don't really need these folders. So what I'm going to do is that I'm going to delete all of these folders. Except for MP Vinewood. And then delete everything. And then there you go. So once you guys have completed that, then you're basically finished. And you basically finished installing your Grand Theft Auto V PC mods and you have finished installing the most important mods which is the Scripthook V and Scripthook V.net and even your trainers which is Menu and Simple Trainer also known as Trainer V. So what we're going to do is right click refresh our folder, exit out of our game folder, right click and refresh our desktop and I'll see you guys in the game. And we are here with Franklin. So, what I'm going to do is show you guys proof that I've installed the mods properly and we have got our mods inside our game. Okay, so, all you guys got to do is press F4 to open up your 
Trainer V, also known as a Simple Trainer. So there you go. And press F8 to open up your menu. You've got to press F8 twice to open up your menu. So press F8 once and then press F8 again to open it. And then there you go. So this guys, that is how you install your most important mods for PC. So yeah, that's how you guys do it, okay, for the newbies. Okay guys, remember that this video is for the newbies. And we are back again guys, so I hope you guys did enjoy the video. But before we do end it off, I just wanted to clarify to you guys the reason why I made this video. The reason why I made this video is because it's for the newbies out there. And not only that, but it was requested by a few of you guys. Now, there's been a lot of people having trouble with their Time64 inside their mods folder missing. And not only that, but a lot of you guys have been telling me that you are missing the DRC packs forward as well. And not only that, but a few of you guys have been telling me that your game keeps crashing. When I tell you to send me a screenshot of your game folder, there's been a lot of people's game folder being messed up, okay? So make sure you guys do follow this tutorial on how to install the important mods first before you do anything else, okay? So I hope that this tutorial does help you guys out, okay guys? If you guys need any more help, then let me know in the comments and I'll be more than welcome to help you guys out. Don't forget, okay? I do have other tutorials that will be inside my description below as well. So with that all said guys, I hope you guys did enjoy this video. If you guys did, smash that like button and subscribe for more daily gaming content and tutorials. And I'll see you guys on my next video. Thank you for watching. Peace and I'm out.